Hey, I'm Kalash and I make cool stuff. So today I'm making a dragon. I'll start off by bending some wire into the appropriate dragon shape and then bulking it up with foil so I use less clay. I also wrapped some wire around the foil to make it more sturdy and added wire for his legs. I'm using polymer clay for the sculpting. I was running out of my usual grey clay, so I'll mix it up with some beige one that I had left over. I was thinking about what dragon to make and decided to go for the snake-like Chinese dragon. I have made one before when I worked on Haku from Spirited Away, but the design was pretty simple. This week I wanted to challenge myself and try to make something very detailed and textured. I might still make a big winged dragon in the future as well. So I covered everything with clay and refined the shape. I decided it would be best to make the legs first because they will be hard to access later. I added claws and started adding texture. His shoulder got a bit of the grey clay because it's not as soft as the beige one and I started sculpting scales. At this point I was mentally preparing to do it for the rest of the body. Then I poked holes in some clay, baked it and used it to texture the rest of his leg. I went over it with isopropyl alcohol to smooth out the clay. Then I added his head with pre-baked eyeballs. I made a general shape that I was happy with but no details. I will return to this later because I would definitely ruin the face along the way. The underbelly is also a bit that would be hard to work on without touching anything else, so I sculpted that. I went for some sharp pentagon shaped scales. Then I added pre-baked spikes to the top of the body and some rolled out clay in between. I textured it and cut out some parts to make it more uneven. That also got smoothed with alcohol. He got some horns, little ears and teeth. It was hard to film adding the teeth, but I just squished pre-baked spikes into his mouth. His face got textured with my clay tool. And now, it's time. Time to add scales all over his body. I first drew them on and then scraped some clay away and refined the shapes. I knew this would take a long time, but I wasn't actually prepared for how long it took. It was one of those experiences where you love and hate something at the same time. 
but I think it turned out quite nice. When I was finally done with the final scale, a wave of happiness and excitement washed over me. So if you want some extra joy in your life, sculpt a few hundred scales. Of course, the scales also get a generous washing with alcohol. Finally, I added a few strips to his head as hair and also a beard. And he was done. For the base, I covered a foil and paper tape mountain with clay. I wanted to make a swirly cloud in motion, so I scraped the clay away and added more in some places. I added cloud swirls on top to help hide the bottom of the dragon. The cloud got painted white, and then I went over it with a grey wash. And I cleaned up some of the raised parts with more white. The dragon got painted dark blue. I went over all the scales with a lighter dry brush, and then again with an even lighter one. His hair, I guess, got painted in a color that I really don't want to pronounce. That also got lighter highlights. His underbelly, horns, claws and teeth got a layer of yellowish beige. I went over the edges with a lighter color and then a darker one on the other side. His eyeballs got painted orange and then covered with a bit of UV resin to make them more eyeball-y. Then I added whiskers that are just some wire covered with clay. I super glued him to the base and that's it. A big thanks to my patrons, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!